Welcome back folks. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. I'm just clearing out some uh, project campers for the new season. I need to make some space in my car park here for the 2023 season. So I'm just going to, there's a few more to arrive uh, or be listed. So if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you'll be notified in the first one. So first here is a 1996 Synergy, Citroen Synergy. This came out the factory from brand new and was converted by Wheelhome. Well, I took this in on a deal, uh, must have been eight, nine, ten months ago, earlier in the year. It arrived from Northern Ireland, totally misdescribed. Um, I took it in for to the garage to have an inspection and sure enough it wants a few jobs for the MOT so I'll go through those shortly uh, but as I say it is a winter project. It drives perfect, it's, we've got the UK Northern Ireland paperwork so it's on Papa Juliet Golf Zulu 5224 that's the proper and correct registration number. While we're here we'll just uh, have a look under the bonnet. So it's a two litre Citroen, it's 129,000 miles, it starts up, it drives, there's no rattles or shakes, uh, however there is no MOT. In fact let's have a look at the MOT now. So what I did, I give it to the, I asked the garage to have a quick look and the guy who does the MOTs, he inspected it and he gave me a little shopping list here. So what it would fail, this, don't forget, this was about uh, eight or nine months ago. So there might be a little bit different now. So you've got an offside front side light out, a seat belt broken buckle in up. That's probably just needs uh, grease enough, three and off. But let's just assume the worst. Rear seat, centre seat, a question mark. Now what that means is this seat, I'll show you a couple of pictures and the, with the wonders of editing. It's in the bedding configuration at the moment. This seat is loose and it just clips into there. So he's probably put question mark, there's no seat belt for there. If you just took that, remove that out and had the four seats for MOT, there would be no problem. So that's just one of those uh, anomalies. Offside rear inner sill and near side rear inner sill step. So what that is, is the failure. There you go. So obviously that would need weld in there just going into the lip there so that needs welding to be presented for an MOT and be safe and exactly the same on this side this side's a bit worse so yeah that sill would be needed to be welded properly that would be needed to be attended to and there's a little hole there so that is the failures now that was the state of play about eight or nine months ago also he said you would be looking at advisories. So we've got an incorrect fuel cap, so that's a, an aftermarket fuel cap, an exhaust minor leak, offside front anti-roll bar cracking, not sure what that means, offside rear brake pipe corroded, both front tyres, so both front tyres have got some cracking, uh, offside and near side CV boots cracking, oil leak on the engine, we don't know whether that's historic or current, Front service disc corroded, that's just been we'll be laid up. Um, and offside front brake hose cracking, and the brakes were okay. So, obviously, they would be advisory. And those, so for us to run that through the workshop, you're probably talking, I don't know, to have all the advisories done a thousand pound north of a thousand pound to have it all ship shape and proper. But uh, somebody could do that from home. Obviously, you only need to do those parts, but there you go. It's actually only had two owners, so we've got the Northern Ireland logbook, uh, one former keeper, and it is registered as a motor caravan, so the low insurance. We've got a raft of paperwork, some previous invoices, mostly insurance documents to be fair. We've got a stamped up book, it's fully stamped up in Northern Ireland, up to 99,000 miles, it's currently on 129, and that took it to 07. Okay, um, it's actually got an electric pop-up roof, would you believe? Let's see if we can operate that. I haven't gone through inside what's working and not working, so assume the worst. There's a button here, and that just operates that. 
pump there. And lo and behold, as you can see, that's raising and lowering on that button, and that's working fine. I'll just put that back up again. Um, so the worst of the bodywork is those both at north of the rear sills. Um, on the front bonnet, probably tea cut and polished that out, but it's got a bit of a scratch there. Looks like someone's run a hose pipe over it. The roof has seen better days. It's waterproof. It's been here, parked outside, but it has got a small rip here on this corner. But again, when the roof's down, that's totally waterproof because that's been parked over in that corner, as I say, for the best part of nine months and totally waterproof. A little crack here on the edge of the paint. Again, a mark there. On the sill there. But this is sold. Lo and behold, it's just about to rain. The heavens have just opened up. So again, there's some on the top lip there. Bodywork. So, I'm just showing you now with the bedding configuration. I can't quite work out a little bit more because there's extra surplus filling cushions. So that's the best I've been able to work it out. So from here to there, width is five foot three. From there to there is five foot three. That one makes about five foot five, five foot six from that. I reckon there's a way of getting that seat a bit more folded forward because it does seem silly. Unless that comes down. I wonder whether that comes down and folds forward. I bet it does. Um, or as a single traveller, the diagonal is six foot ten. So I'll just have a try of that. But with the wonders of video editing, I'll end this part of the video. And now we'll go back inside when the, uh, the bed is up. Okay, just going back in again, I have now actually worked out. I thought it seemed strange that the bed was five foot three in length. That passenger seat, for you remove the headrests, swivel it round slightly. There's a crank handle at the side, it goes all the way flat and there's some extra filling cushions. I'm still not quite sure whether they are the actual correct cushions, but that's for you to uh, work out. So yes, so now that side is created six foot four length. So that's a bit better. Okay then, so I'll come out now again with a video and we'll walk back inside when I've removed the bed and we've got the table set up. So back inside for the final section of this video. So the bed is now up and we've got the seating configuration. So as I say, this is a loose middle seat, so that can be removed permanently, so you just have the four, or you can have the whole bench there. So this, the curvature here is very clever. The cushions have made like that, so when you fold it down, they fill in the curvature for the bed. So there's your full control panel. I showed you before the uh, RAM, the electric roof operating. I've shown you the lights working. And that's all I've been able to test really. So it's on sale with no reserve, no reserve. Spurs or repair, project, call it what you like. So obviously there's no MOT. What I'm gonna do, it's a technical loophole in this country. If it's booked in for an MOT, it's legal to drive. So I'm comfortable. I will drive this 50 miles free of charge included in the winning bidder to the to the winning bidder. Um, any questions? My name's Anthony Valentine 0798 526 1078 and what I will do then is I'll book it in at a local MOT station. Um, I don't think it technically has to go through with the MOT so I'm happy to deliver this 50 miles from L408JG. Other than that, you need to organise your own transport. Um, viewing's more than welcome at my postcode. We're in Skaysbrick near Southport. I repeat, L408JG. Just pick up the phone and we can make arrangements for that. Uh, but you will need to, or so you can book it in yourself at a, your local MOT station. If you're insured, you can drive it. So if, if that's not the case, any doubt, you need to recover it. But I'm more than happy to deliver this um, free of charge, 50 miles from the radius of our 
dealership here. Failing that, if you ring up in advance before the auction end, I might be able to get you a delivery cost if you're any further than that. Okay, so just, even these windows wind down, would you believe? The, both the rear windows. Uh, I found them. There you go. There's a wind down crank handle there. And they wind up and down. So you've got the front seats can be swivelled there. Uh, so you've got forward facing. It would actually make a nice day bus, this. It's got a tow bar. Curtains all round. It needs a bit of TLC. There's a little trim you get from B&Q or somewhere to finish that off there, again there. So you've got a two burner gas hob there. Nothing is tested. It is sold. Spurs a repair project. There's a grill, storage, more storage, and properly fitted with a drop vent for safety. There's your drop vent. You've got two camping gas gas bottles. Um, on the driver's side, You've got a hot and cold tap, but I think that's just been mixers that have been fitted. I would assume it's just cold water. There is hot and cold um, pipes there, but I think they're just uh, going down to a, a water tank, a cold. So I assume it's cold water only. I assume it, that, that space there has been filled by a fridge. So you could get yourself a 12 volt fridge to fit in there or a cooler box. Again, more storage, and it's got all the working, so you can assume that's the, the mains drop down. It's got a mains charger, main sockets, uh, mains fuse box. Yeah, so obviously it was done properly from the factory when it was new. More storage. Genuine original wheel home over mats. Okay, that's about it. So it's on sale. With no reserve, it is a winter spurs or repair project. My name's Anthony Valentine. Any questions, 0798 526 1078. But it is what it is. Good luck with your bidding, folks.